Hi, today I wanted to walk through how I harvest pygmy drosera gemmi. Um, they're the little plantlets that farm uh, at the middle of these uh, little sundews seasonally. Uh, so I remember when I was starting, I wasn't really sure what they looked like or what to do with them. Uh, but here I have some for you to see. So the tool that I use is not very sophisticated. It's just, um, it's actually a plant label. I'm kind of sneaky it in there. So this is just one of those plastic labels. It's kind of close up here, but hopefully you can see that. Uh, I get the tip wet. So I'm just going to dip this in the well of water that the plants are sitting in. So I'm getting the tip wet. Um, and then basically you can go up to one of these, these little clumps. I'm going to come from the other side here. Touch the center here and they should fall off pretty easily. So I kind of know what they look like when they're loose now, but you can see here a couple are already stuck to, um, to the top of this uh, label. And I think really anything sharp would work and hopefully something kind of wet. And really I'm just touching them. I'm not, you know, pushing very much at all. I kind of wouldn't advise that. So just wait till they're ready to um, drop off. So I'm gonna move the pot here and show you where I'm putting them. Um, when I give it to people, I just will, uh, like cut a piece of paper towel like this. I kind of spray it. I don't know if you necessarily need to do that, but I spray it. Um, I'm then just kind of dragging the, the label like that, kind of getting off what I have. It looks like I have two here. Like they're really tiny, probably hard to see now. I don't know if I can zoom in. Uh, so yeah, there's two here. I just kind of put them there. And then after I take all of these off, I would then just kind of fold these over and I put it in a bag or an envelope or something. Um, so here, I'll take off a couple more and show you. So, focus here. All right. So I got this tip wet again. Um, and really, this is probably the best representation here of what it's, you know, what they look like. This one kind of has this sort of a rosette look to it, right? Um, hopefully you can see that. So they form that, that uh, shape clump. Uh, the ones on the outside become loose. I'm just gonna go here, kind of touch them again. You see how easy, easily I touch? And then there's a couple stuck. So I'm gonna take this back to my cloth and put these down. Uh, yeah, and then try not to smash them as I'm getting off, um, getting them off. So. This is a couple, usually I'll put in, you know, 10 or something. I don't know, I'm giving to people. So I'm gonna, you know, wrap these up like that. I just, it, it's already been sprayed. It's not soaked or anything. Um, and I'm gonna set this aside. So as far as planting goes, um, you just sort of rest it on the top of the soil. I have something I am making here. Uh, so it's like, it has a little rock. I'm gonna see how this goes. But if you see here, there, it, it is kind of hard to see there, Jemmy um, sitting on the top of the sand. I'll try to zoom in here so you can see a bit more. Like they're just resting on top. There's not really any, I'll try to raise it up here. There's not any burying happening. It's not working. Um, but these have already started to sprout. Uh, maybe I can get a close up uh, pic or video to show you, but these um, are doing well. They just extend a root down. Um, uh, but yeah, I would say when you're putting them on the soil, maybe try to put the, the root uh, face down, or the root facing down, so it can kind of just grow into the sand. That seems to be helpful, but um, yeah, you know, I think these are resilient in the wild. They're used to sort of blowing around, right? So I think if you just left, um, leave them on the sand, uh, and wet sand, of course, uh, deep pot. I would always have a four inch pot for these guys. Um, then you should be fine. So uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful. I can go more into uh, pygmy sundews and my experiences uh, in another video. Uh, hit me up with questions, thanks.